Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Matrix Revolutions Movie Thoughts I don't have a problem with the idea that the machines you know, could have a truce with the humans and that, you know, they can love as well, you know. But it is pretty late to introduce an idea like that, you know. It's only at the beginning of this movie that, you know, that whole thing that the war isn't necessary is really introduced. You know, unless you watch, you know, The Animatrix, of course. Which, you know, kind of sows the seeds for this revelation that the machines don't really want to oppress us. The... But yeah, you know, the whole Ramakandra thing is fine, and it would especially be even more fine if they had cast decent actors for his wife and daughter. Especially the daughter. A lot of children can't act, and writers and directors need to realize that and just give them fewer lines put less responsibility on those little talentless shoulders of theirs. It just doesn't work. We And we get more of the kid here, and he's one of the last characters we see as he shouts, you know, and, and we just we just hope that just one sentinel, just even by accident, just flies into him and just takes care of that little... Anyway, the whole... Let's go over some of the open questions, because that is somewhat interesting here. It's nice that, you know, Neo and Smith are kind of the opposites. It's the one and the many. That, you know, that's a good kind of, you know, it makes sense then that they'd be each other's nemesis. Ne ne nemesis. And, you know, when... Smith takes over Neo, you know, you have to wonder, is it that just that Neo contained within him the code, you know, that he had to sacrifice his life to destroy Smith, and that that was his true, that was the destination for the one's path. That was, you know, how he could really balance the equation as the architect wanted, by, you know, giving the machines something they wanted to get rid of Smith, because, as we've seen, he can cross that boundary, you know. He did it with Bane. So, you know, he... Now they both had something that the other wanted, and that was the bargain, as, you know, the Merovingian introduced. That both sides need something to barter with. Although Neo wasn't present for that, so how he figured it out, I'm not sure. Anyway, you know, you have to wonder if it's Neo who, within himself, contained code that deleted Smith, or if it's that, you know, babyface, you know, spiky butt babyface there at the end, who sends a jolt of electricity or the code or something through Neo's body because finally it had someone taken over by Smith connected directly to you know the the big machine there at the end I just want to hug it don't you just want to hug it you know just and the you know and then you know we have the symbols of you know when he's Seeing when we see him and all the lights surrounding him, it almost looks as if he's walking on water as he approaches, you know, the machine, you know, the place where he gets an audience with the machine, and you know, he clearly forms a cross when he's dying. You know, that whole, you know, very messiah, and you know, him being blinded, and then. Yeah, you know, a lot of symbols in this one. There at the end, we get a sense of uncertainty about how long the truce might last. 
I've heard that, you know, the story continues in Matrix Online, so, if, you know, you wanted to spend that kind of money on a video gaming experience, then, you know, I guess you could... To be fair, it did sound like it might be kind of cool from, you know, what I read about it. Anyway, we don't know how long the truce is going to last. We can only hope it lasts about as long as Trinity takes to die. Seriously, she has several poles poking out through her. The reveal on that was just plain silly. You know, it, there are a lot of goofy stuff in this one. Like, same with near the end, you know, the fight. So many goofy moments in the fight between Smith and Neo. And, you know, she's just lying there and she can still, you know, compose herself. She doesn't even seem to be in pain. And she can deliver all these lines, you know, with perfect grammar, no, you know, going back in and out of it, no, you know, I'm getting cold, no, you know, and then, you know, cut back to Zion and, you know, the people are like, Neo, hurry up, you know, if, if Trinity wouldn't take so long to die, they would probably have been in less danger, but okay. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.